Before starting the video, I want to let you guys know that you can win Robux by watching this video. In the first 4 minutes of this video, I hit a secret word. The first one to find it wins Robux. Read the description for the rules. Lit day, lit day, yeah yeah, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Lumi Analysis. For those who don't know, Lumi Analysis is a small series that I am only doing for this week, in which I will analyze every starter Lumion that has been released. Yesterday we analyzed the first Lumion in the Lumipedia, Embit. Today we will be analyzing Dripple, the fourth Lumion in the Lumipedia. So as we all know, Dripple is the first ever water type Lumion released. Personally, I am not a fan of water type starters, but I am a fan of fire type starters. Throughout our Pokemon history, we've seen one of the best water type starters before. For example, Froakie, Mudkip, Squirtle, and many more. Fun fact, I really miss my Froakie. Now, before beginning to analyze Dribble, do you guys think that Dribble will be the next Ash Greninja? What will it be called? Brad Dribble, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, let's begin talking about Dribble. So the name Dribble comes from the combination of the words Drip and Ripple. Here's a picture of a Drip. Cool Drip, huh? Now, here's a picture of a Ripple. I love that ripple. You get the drip and the ripple, put them together and you get dripple. Personally, dripple is my favorite looming name after Eaglet. Just hearing the name dripple gives you the feeling of water for some reason. What could this reason be? I don't know. Moving on, let's talk about when we all were told about dripple. Dripple was announced by Llama Train Studio developer Puini on March 2nd, 2019. This looming was designed by Lollipop Reshi and was modeled by Santis Verdoem. You know something, it's quite interesting how Lollipop Reshi designed this Lumion. Lollipop Reshi isn't a Llama Train Studio developer, and this is the only Lumion that was designed by someone who isn't a developer for Llama Train Studio, as far as we know. Upon checking Lollipop Reshi's profile, I noticed that this person quit Roblox. It's pretty sad that she won't see her creation when the game is out, unless she comes back for its release. Moving on, let's talk about the description of Dripple. The description of Dripple is, this Lumion appreciates the companionship of a trainer when given the chance, but is perfectly content to spend all day doing nothing more than blowing bubbles from its mouth. We should have known better guys, the description was hinting something to us when it said appreciates the companionship of a trainer when given the chance. I'm pretty sure that this is referring to the fact that Dripple likes it when a trainer is walking with it, which actually makes a lot of sense. Look at Dripple as your little pet who loves being loved by their trainer. Now that I think about it, Dribble may actually be cute guys. I really like the 3D version of Dribble, but honestly the 2D version scares me a little bit. It doesn't look as happy as I would think a Dribble is. Talking about looks, let's talk about Dribble's look. So Dribble looks like this turtle who is about to hug you but literally has a bruh face. I'm actually serious, Dribble has a bruh face. Look at the eyes of Dribble, they're pretty big. This is why Dribble looks cute guys, I was telling you about this before. Don't these big eyes remind you of something? Yeah guys, Dripple looks like Theodore from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Not only in the eyes, but if you guys compare their bodies, they're pretty similar too. Just make Theodore blue and you got yourself a Dripple. Let me do that real quick for you guys. This is pretty funny actually, and I really like how Dripple actually looks like a blue Theodore. If you guys noticed, Dripple has some sort of yellow thing in its head. I have no idea what this could be, so I am asking you guys for help. What could the yellow thing on the head of Dripple be? Could it be some headlights possibly? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, Dripple looks like it's wearing some sort of tuxedo with a blue belt around its body. Something you guys need to watch out is for the hands from Dripple. If you look at them, they're spiky, so I wouldn't be wanting to shake Dripple's hand if I were you guys. This will most likely hurt a lot. Also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but according to the sprite from Dripple, it has a tail. We can't see this tail in the 3D form, but we can see it in the 2D form. Just wanted to let you guys know about this. Knowing that Dripple is a water type Lumen, we also know what Dripple is effective against and what it's weak against. Being a water type, Dripple is effective against fire and earth type. Now, imagine Dripple were to be a Pokemon in Pokemon Generation 1. In Pokemon Generation 1, there were 12 fire type Pokemon and 14 ground type Pokemon which makes it a total of 26 Pokemon. Now, this isn't a big number, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. 
I personally think that a very effective Lumen would have had a bigger number though. Now, the types that water is weak against are plant and electric type. In Pokemon Generation 1, there's 9 electric Pokemon and 14 grass Pokemon, for a total of 23 Pokemon. According to this, Dribble would have a higher chance of being more effective in a battle than weak. We still don't know how many Lumions there's going to be in Lumion Legacy that are going to be electric and plant type, but I would assume that this number will be very similar to the one I previously mentioned. Would I use Dribble in a PvP battle? No, I wouldn't. In a PvP battle, chances are that your opponent is going to have a starter Lumion as well, and the odds here are 2 to 1, 2 being the electric and plant type Lumions, and 1 being the fire type Lumion. But adventure-wise, I believe Dripple to be a very good Lumion, since it loves being with its trainer, as previously mentioned. Now let's take a look at all the images that have been released on Dripple. I've already talked about the first and second form, and I haven't talked about the third form. As to the 3D and 2 pictures, I don't think that they look similar. I mean, we get the image of Dripple, don't get me wrong, but in the first picture Dripple has a regular smile, and in the second one Dripple looks kind of sad or angry, I don't know. Now, in regards to the last form, it was actually released 2 days ago, when T Random tweeted out a picture showing how the Lumens were going to look in our party. Here's that picture. So in this picture, we can see the energy and health of all the Lumens. Now, if we focus on Dripple, it's the only Lumion who is in a level 5. Dripple is level 6 and has different stats than the other Lumions. Dripple has 25 of health, which is pretty average if you compare it to the other Lumions. Regardless, Dripple has 81 of energy, which is pretty bad if you compare it to the other Lumions. Having low energy is a challenge for whoever decides to pick Dripple. This means that you need to use your energy wisely in battle because chances are you're going to run out of it pretty fast if you don't use it wisely. Thinking about it, Dribble may have low energy because its attack may be very OP. This could possibly explain why it has 10 less energy than all the other Lumions. Well guys, that's all the information that I can give you guys about Dribble. Now let's look into some fanmade evolutions of Dribble. Before going into the fanmade evolutions, I would like to give a quick shout out to developer Dan for drawing these evolutions. For our first evolution, we have Snaplash. The name Snaplash comes from the combination of the words Snap and Splash. So basically this fanmade Lumion snaps and splashes at the same time. I really like how the body of this Lumion changed from the plain one before into the really cool one now. The description of this Lumion is, This Lumion is very active and will spend most of its time surfing up and down rivers or just roam around the lakes. They're very loyal to their trainer and will defend them from danger with their powerful jaws. So basically what this Lumion does is surf or walk around lakes. Just like Dripple, Snaplash loves being with her trainer and it seems like Dripple has gained some sort of ability in its jaw to bite other Lumions. I really like this evolution and I believe that developer Dan did a great job drawing it. Now let's proceed to the next evolution, Gator Riptide. There's not much explaining from where the name of this Lumion came from, it's literally Gator and Riptide together. This Lumion is different than its previous evolutions though, it's also Earth type. As to the looks of this Lumion, I like how the eyebrows of it are yellow now. To include, this Lumion also has some pretty cool bags that I enjoy, and the tail is now kind of yellow too, which is amazing. Now let's look at the description of this Lumion. The description is, This Lumion is very ferocious and feisty, they often fight each other for food or territory, they are quite stubborn and usually disobey their trainers. They spend most of their time floating above water waiting for prey. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like this Lumen is now disobedient. Before, Dribble and Snaplash loved being with their trainer, and now Gator Riptide apparently doesn't like being with their trainer. Also, I don't know about you guys, but this Lumen is giving me a feeling of Lapras, if you guys get what I'm saying. Anyways, it seems like this Lumen is very fierce and loves waiting for others to appear to eat them. If you look at this looming closely, it looks like a dinosaur for some reason, which is kinda cool. Well guys, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys liked this video, learned something about Dripple, and that you guys also like the fanime evolutions of Dripple. If you haven't yet, try to find the secret word that I hid in the video. I believe that I hit it pretty well. The first one to find it will win Robux. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm Armenti, and we lit.